Have you heard of the term boycott? It is the opposite of boycott, referring to intentionally purchasing a company's products in support of their policies or ethical standards. South Korea has a similar term, which is tonchul. This word is a combination of the words money and scolding, so it means to punish with money. People use this term to encourage others to buy things from places that have done good things and have set a good example. Recently, Chincheon County received an unexpected surprise. As Afghan evacuees who arrived in Korea late last month started a temporary life at the Chincheon County, people have been expressing their gratitude for hosting the evacuees. Citizens started to give the so-called money scolding to online shopping malls that sell local Chincheon products. Chinchon Mall, an online shopping mall, had to shut down the website due to explosive orders. According to the county, the sales of four days surpassed its monthly average. On the website's inquiry board, people posted messages such as, I want to order regardless of the delay in delivery, applauses for the warm and noble decision, and many others. It is not the first time Chinchon has accepted people in difficult situations. Chincheon is also where Korean expatriates who arrived from Wuhan, China, stayed last year during the early stage of the spread of the pandemic. These cases, which began with the intention of encouraging good deeds, have been happening throughout the country. Another case that has been getting the public's interest is that of Pak Chae Hee, an owner of a fried chicken franchise in Hongdae Western Seoul. After his noble act of offering fried chicken to two underfed brothers was known by the public in March, Park's restaurant has been getting a surge in orders. Another famous boycott case, a pizza shop in Incheon, received multiple delivery orders as his kind decision spread through the internet. The brand owner gave free pizza to a man who wanted to buy one for his daughter's birthday but couldn't afford it because he had lost his job due to the pandemic. Amid the ongoing trend of money scolding, comedian Lee Young Cha started hosting a new food entertainment show called I Came to Money Scold. The show tries to help small businesses that are facing difficulties amid the pandemic by ordering a feast of food to achieve their target sales. Lee Yun Ha, a consumer studies professor at Inha University, said that consumers do not see spending money as a means of simply buying things, but as a means of expressing their opinions. Netizens have been using hashtags, posting pictures, and leaving positive reviews of products they bought or places they visited to draw social attention to values that they support and believe. In the digital era and amid the prolonged COVID-19 situation, people are spreading their emotions with money while supporting each other to overcome difficult times.